here's how to make voxel based smooth terrain that is editable by the player and supports multiple materials using the Godot voxel tools add-on. This add-on is probably the best Godot voxel add-on there is. Now let's get started. First you need to download the add-on. Go to the Godot voxel github repository. The link is in the description as well as all the links to the resources that I will mention later. Click releases and download the latest build. One downside about this add-on is that it's a module that means that it's a custom build of Godot instead of a plugin that you can add to your project. But anyway, this is a new project I opened from the Voxel tool version of Godot. Add a Voxel LOD train to create a train with LOD. Then in the generator property, there is multiple generators to choose from. A generator determines what shape the train will be generated in. For now, set it to Voxel Generator Noise 2D. Make sure the measure is set to Voxel Measure Transvoxel for smooth terrain. So now you should see a height map terrain. By the way, if you change the settings, you can regenerate the terrain here. To make it playable when the scene run, we need a player controller of course. I just use this random player controller from the asset library. And to make the terrain load around the player, add voxel viewer to it. Now we make the terrain editable by the player. To do that, first we add a raycast to the camera and then set the target to be 5 meter forward. In the player script, we get a reference to the voxel terrain and then a reference to the terrain's voxel tool which is a helper class to easily access and modify voxels. Also, a reference to the raycast. And then in the physic process function, get the raycast endpoint. Then if the right mouse is pressed, set the voxel tool mode to voxel tool remove and call voxel tool grow sphere with the sphere center at the endpoint of the raycast and set the radius to 2 and the strength to 0.2. Do the same thing for adding terrain, but switch the mode to add. Now the player can modify the terrain. One thing that you might encounter from modifying terrain is that when you unload it and load it back in, the part you modified will disappear. That's because the terrain is not safe. To fix that, we add a stream to the terrain. Voxel stream allows to save and load voxel data to a file or a directory structure. There are multiple options to choose from. You can check it yourself what they do, but I'm going to pick voxel stream memory, which is the simplest. It saves voxel data to your memory rather than disk. Now for the material of the terrain, you will need to use shader material in order to add the shader for multiple textures and another necessary shader. To assign textures to terrain, you could set them based on mesh data, like normal vector for example. But in our case, we want to set the texture on each voxel based on its texture index, so that we can choose what texture to build with. To do that, we use this shader from the documentation. Don't get rid of the default code that is used to get rid of these artifacts. The texturing code takes an array of textures for the input. I'm going to use pixel art for the textures, so I'm adding this extra filter to it. The texture array can be created from script, so attach a new script to the voxel terrain, then in the ready function, load the textures for the terrain, add them to texture to the array, and add the texture to the array to the shader. Make it a tool script so that it can run in the editor. Then in the terrain measure property, set the texture mode to 4 blend over 16 texture. Now if we regenerate the terrain or run the scene, you will see the first texture of the array. To make the terrain generate with different textures, we need to use custom generator. Because voxel generator noise 2D is too limited. There are two custom generators to choose from. A generator script or a generator graph. Generator script can be made in either GDScript, C Sharp or C++. We're not going to be using C-sharp and C++ generators because they are too hard to set up. 
We're also not going to use GDescript generator. Instead, we're gonna use Scruff generator because it has similar speed to C++ generators and it is just simpler to set up. Although it is a little limited and only has basic instructions, it is good enough to make simple terrain. So now add voxel generator graph. By default, the generator graph have this node setup to generate flat terrain. We're going to recreate the height map terrain like the noise generator. So add noise 2D. You can click it to change the noise setting if you want. Multiply the noise output by 20 to make the terrain more bumpy. Then connect it to the height input of the STF plane to get the sine distance value of the current voxel. After that, clamp the STF value between negative 1 and 1 so that the terrain editing strength will be consistent no matter how far you are from the surface. Lastly, connect it to the output STF. Now you have a terrain that is similar to the noise generator, this time made using graph generator. Next, to add multiple textures to the terrain, add an output single texture node. This will set a texture to the voxel based on the texture index. We're going to set the texture based on noise 3D. So add noise 3D node and connect it to a select node. The way the select node works is, if the input T is lower than the threshold, return A. Otherwise, return B. So set A and B to the texture indices you want to use. Then connect it to the output single texture. Now you should have stone and grass patches on the terrain. Next thing to add is the ability to choose what material to build with. In the player script, right after adding terrain, switch the voxel tool mode to texture paint. And then call voxel tool .do sphere at the recast endpoint with the radius of 2.5. The reason the radius of adding the paint is set to 2.5 instead of 2 like the radius of adding terrain is to make sure that the newly added terrain is fully painted. Anyway, by default, the painting code will paint the terrain with the first texture. To change the texture, we change the voxel tool texture index. For simplicity, I just made it so that it cycles between the three textures when E is pressed. And that's it, we're done. To learn more about the add-on, check out the documentation. Or join your Discord server to ask for help or something.